Welcome at the E2E Paint Job. Today I want to talk about rivets, especially rivets and cycle frames, and how to replace them when they are beat up. Sometimes these rivets for the mount of the bottle cages need a replacement when they are loose or screwed up, and I like to show you how you can do this cheap and simple at home. But to replace these rivets we need some tools, and I have all the tools here we needed, so let's check what's necessary to fix these rivets in your cycle frame. If you want to replace the rivets on your cycle frame, you need of course new rivets and these are the typical M5 ones, the metric 5 rivets for the screws of your bottle cages, M5 blind rivet nuts, and I will link you some in the description, but make sure these are the right ones for your bike. Some bikes have different rivets and the rivets for the, for the cable holders are a bit smaller, but I'm sure you will find the right one online. And at first we have to remove the damaged rivet on the cycle frame or on this tube and to do so I will cut off or chop off the head of this rivet but I don't like to damage the paint job of the bike so I need a special tool and the special tool is such a burbit. I call it the metal eater. My one had lost some teeth because of my last welding action. I welded more than one and a half ton of steel. I grinded a lot of material with this burbit, but it's still good enough to remove such an aluminum rivet. And it's also good to grind down your wife's toenails. <laughs> and I will use this burbit in such a pneumatic angle grinder. I'm sure you don't have this tool, so you can use also your drill if you want to. And if you have no drill, buy one. What you also need are riveting pliers and they are in different shapes, different forms and also different colors, but they are nearly the same. But some riveting pliers are a bit different. They have a head you can turn 90 degrees and that's very good for cycle frames. So let's check this one on a cycle frame. That frame is not a good example for the demo of replacing rivets because it has no rivet on the C-tube, but imagine here is a rivet you like to remove or you like to replace. And then it's a good idea to use such riveting pliers with a turning head because that makes it easy to reach this rivet and to replace it. Because sometimes you have no chance to place the riveting pliers into the frame. This one is a big one, but imagine the top tube ends here, you have a size S or something like that, and that makes it hard to replace some rivets in some areas, so buy yourself riveting pliers with a turning head, that makes it very easy. So let's go ahead and change the damaged rivet. I will use my pneumatic grinder and the burbit as mentioned, and when you use power tools, Wear a safety gear and buy yourself safety gear such as safety glasses and ear protection. I know what I'm talking about. I got metal in my eyes and the metal had to be removed with a needle at hospital. It was horrible and I had to wear an eye patch for more than two weeks. Check the picture and be sure that's not what you want. So buy yourself safety glasses and some safety gear. So. Let's start to remove the rivet. I will put my piece of tube in the vise. Make sure you fix your frame when you work with power tools so you are safe not to scratch the paint job or to damage your frame. And it's simple and easy. I will chop off the head or grind the head and it takes only some seconds and the rivet's removed. And I'm done. That was really simple. Okay, if you use a drill it takes a bit longer, but it's also possible to use the burbit with the drill and you will get the same result. And now we have to put in a new rivet, squeeze in a new rivet on your cycle frame. So use the riveting pliers. These are made for the screwed ones. I don't know how they are called, but you can screw them on. And then you can squeeze this rivet in your frame. And that's also very simple. Put in the rivet and squeeze it with the riveting pliers. 
remove this mounting tool and you're done. That was really simple and easy and I'm sure everybody of you is able to do that. I have to replace some rivets on this frame and in my next video I like to show you how to close holes on carbon frames with carbon fiber because I will remove these rivets and close the holes with carbon fiber. I show you how to laminate frames. Check also my daily stuff on Instagram and Facebook if you want to. And good luck replacing your damaged rivets and see you in one of my next videos.